everyone! I've heard a lot of people are now using ChatGPT to help them solve math problems. So today, we will put ChatGPT to a test. We will compare the math problem solving abilities of ChatGPT with several strong math solving apps on the market. They are GothMath, PhotoMath, and MathWay. We've prepared several typical math questions, and let's see how they get it. Without further ado, let's just get started. Today, we have 10 math questions, which are basically the most common questions we have in school. A typical equation problem, they all get it right. A slightly challenging arithmetic problem, only photo math get it wrong. A simple arithmetic question, no one fails. Another equation question, but this one is much harder. Goth math and photo math can get the correct answer. An integral problem, they all get it right, except photo math. Again. A derivative problem. This time, they are all correct. An arithmetic question. Photomath fails the third time. A simple financial math question. Gothmas and ChatGPT give correct answers. A triangle problem. ChatGPT does not support uploading pictures, and Gothmas is the only app to solve this question and get it right. A typical statistics problem. It looks like it is within ChatGPT's area of expertise. Well, it seems today's test has come to an end. Well, in today's test result, Gothmath's ability to solve math problems using AI is really remarkable. So I think I can give Gothmath a 9 out of 10. ChatGPT's mathematical problem solving ability is indeed impressive. It provided correct answers to 8 questions but it has not yet solved any graphical problems. For PhotoMath and MathWay, their performance is good in some math problems, but when it comes to graphical and word problems, they are enabled to provide fast and accurate answers. In today's test, PhotoMath provided four correct answers, while MathWay provided six. Well, that's the results for today's video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. If you have any questions or any thoughts, don't forget to comment below.